Today we're going to talk about pictographs. So a pictograph is a graph that shows its data using little pictures and you're going to be making a pictograph this week but it doesn't need to have perfect pictures. So um, in the illustrations that I'm going to be showing you they might have sort of fancy airplanes like in this pictograph but yours would just it could be a simple picture. So this pictograph here is titled Times on an Airplane. That's really important. They've added a title so we know what the graph is all about. And then it shows how many times on an airplane these different people have been. So I can tell how many each of them has been. The question is how many times has Nelly been on an airplane? So if I count, I see an amount. Why don't you guys pause, count, and then see if you get the right answer by pressing play again. If you thought Nellie had been on an airplane eight times, you are correct. There are eight pictures of airplanes in the Nellie section, so she has been on an airplane eight times. In this pictograph, we can see there was a used clothing drive, and we can see how many each person got. And then the question says, how many shirts did Reagan collect? So I'd go to the Reagan row and count those shirts to see how many he collected. So if you thought Reagan collected eight shirts, you are right. You can pat yourself on the back. Let's look at another pictograph. This one is about favorite Winter Olympic sports, and it's great that they have this labeled with a title, and then they have each of the different sports labeled along the side here, and they've used pictures to show how many people liked the different winter sports. So the question is, how many children chose hockey as their favorite? So take a look at the graph. The correct answer is one child. This graph here is about apple picking. So each apple represents one apple that a child picked or that a person picked. And the question is how many apples did Tisha pick? So we'd go up to the row labeled Tisha. We'd count those apples. So you can do that. And if you thought that Tisha picked nine apples, that is right. Let's look at this last question. So this is a pictograph of a cookie baking competition. It looks like it's showing how many cookies each person baked. I can tell that Rick baked the most cookies and Hugo baked the least. He only baked two cookies. The question is how many batches of cookies did the students bake all together? So you could pause, figure that out, and then press play to find out how many. If you calculated that they baked 22 cookies, you are right.